Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to define some gearing ratios for you. Well, first of all, let's understand what gears are. This is a wheel and on it are a set of teeth. There are a certain number of teeth. In this case, there's eight teeth. Here's another smaller wheel, four teeth. Each is on an axle in the center, right, allowing it to rotate. We're rotating this one anti-clockwise. Automatically, the one with four teeth is going to rotate clockwise. Now, if I rotate the one on the left anti-clockwise once, it's got eight teeth. Each tooth engages with the tooth on this wheel, and this means that although this rotates only once, so I'll say it rotates once, this one will rotate actually twice. Now normally when we're defining ratios, we put it down as say, we can say the ratio here is 8 to 4. But of course we can simplify that and in fact the ratio is 2 to 1. We would say that if this is the drive, we'll call this one the drive, and this is the driven gear, then what we've got is a gearing up of 2 to 1. However, if this was the drive gear, if this was the one I was turning, I will find that this one will turn slower and then I would say a gearing down of 2 to 1. So don't get confused, we either gear up or we gear down. Whatever happens, it's the number of teeth on the wheel that tells me how fast one wheel will go compared to the other. It's very simple, keep it simple.